it's Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make garlic knots. They have been so highly requested and they are so simple and easy to make, so I'm really excited to show you this recipe. Uh, but before I get started, let's go over the ingredients. You're going to need some pizza dough, either whole wheat or white flour, does not matter. Some fresh parsley, fresh garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper. Those are your ingredients and optional, you can put parmigiano and and toss them in, but I don't do that. We did not do it that way at the restaurant, so I don't do it that way at home. So the first thing you want to do is get your oven to 400. Second thing you want to do is take a sheet pan and I just put some parchment paper on there so it doesn't stick. And then on my work surface, I put some flour. Now for the pizza dough, you can either uh, make your own and you can check out Laura in the Kitchen for a recipe on how to make pizza or you can buy it at your supermarket or your favorite pizza shop. We'll love to sell you a, a bowl of dough or two so don't worry, just go ahead and ask him. Uh, but you can make your own if you want. So all I did is put my bowl of pizza dough on my counter and I just flattened it out so it's nice and flat. So now what I'm going to do is cut strips of it just like that. And it's about I guess a half an inch thick. And next we're just going to roll them. Now, I used to do this at the restaurant and we did it really, really fast, but you're making a knot. So you just take the two, two of your fingers at one end, you wrap it around, wrap it, and then you snip and twist. And you make a knot. See? But if you don't want to do that, you can just do this. And make little tiny ones. And you don't have to cook, you know, you can just toss them like that. But since these are garlic knots, I'm just going to make them and put them on my sheet pan. Whoops. Dough is a bit sticky, but that's okay. If you feel like it needs more flour, just roll it in some flour, shake off the excess. Last one. Now these are going to go into my preheated oven at 400 for any, for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. You just got to keep an eye on them. You're just looking for them to be a golden brown color, and then I'll show you the next step. Now while my knots are still baking, because they're not garlic knots yet, we have to toss them in the garlic oil, so that's what we're going to make next. I have a teeny tiny little food processor, but if you don't have one of these, you can use a blender, or if you don't even have a blender, you can just use a knife and just chop everything super, super fine. But all I'm going to do is put in some fresh parsley and garlic in here, and some extra virgin olive oil, enough to make sort of like a, like not a thin, thin garlic oil. You want it to be a little bit more on the thick side, so you're going to need about a quarter cup of olive oil total. So all I'm going to do now is just whiz this up. That looks perfect. So all I'm going to do now is go get my nuts out of the oven because they should be ready, and then we're just going to finish them up. These little babies baked at 400 for about 15 minutes. They're lightly golden on the top. They're lovely and golden at the bottom. These are good to go. Now, super important. This step has to be done the minute they come out of the oven. Otherwise, it's not even worth it. Don't even bother with this recipe if you're not going to do it. Just put these in a bowl while they're really, really hot. And trust me, they're hot, but I have fingers like no one's business and they can handle the heat when I'm going to eat this. Trust me. If it pays off in food, I can handle anything, any kind of pain. So, now we need to pour this garlic oil all over the top, and you might not need all of it, so just pour about half of it, and then I'm going to just use two wooden spoons to toss this together, and if I feel like I need more, then guess what? I'll put more on top, but just toss them all together until they're well coated in the garlic oil. Don't forget to season with some salt and pepper, not too much salt and continue stirring until they're all mixed. That looks great. All I'm going to do is just put these in a bowl and like I said, some places toss them with some parmigiana and jano over the top too, like parmesan cheese. I don't do that because at the restaurant we didn't do that because we did in the beginning and then we had a lot of people saying, oh no, I can't eat cheese and I can't have garlic knots. So I figured, you know what? Let's just make them without cheese, and if people want the cheese, we can get it on the side. So, same goes for you. If you want cheese in this recipe, toss them in a little Parmesan cheese. If you don't want to, just leave it as is. I have got to just eat one. Who am I kidding? As soon as that camera's off, I'm going to eat the whole bowl. So good. Hot, it's good. Mmm, mmm! The things I do for food. I'm going to go back for more, 
I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Go ahead and get in your kitchen and make garlic knots. They're so easy, they're so simple, they go great with just about anything. You don't need a reason to make them. Just go in your kitchen and make them. Go to www.lauranykitchen.com to get the recipe. Go get in your kitchen and then make them. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bum, bum, <laughs>